Ever wondered why some startups struggle to raise funds during certain periods? They might be facing what's known as a funding winter. Funding winter, a phrase that might evoke images of icy landscapes and snow-covered startups, is actually a term used in the business world. It refers to a period of market correction that affects how startups are valued and how they're able to raise funds. During this chilly season, the probability of startups getting higher valuations in the short to midterm takes a nosedive. This isn't due to a lack of innovation or determination on the part of entrepreneurs, but rather, it's the market's way of keeping things in check. In the balmy days of a funding summer, startups might enjoy high valuations and an influx of capital. But when the winter winds blow, investors become more cautious. They start to shy away from firms that lack a clear path to profitability. This is no arbitrary bias, but a survival instinct. After all, the ultimate goal of any investment is to generate returns, and if a startup can't demonstrate how it plans to become profitable, it can be a risky bet for investors. This frosty climate forces startups to reassess their priorities. Gone are the days of pursuing growth at all costs. Now, the focus shifts to profit maximization. This might mean cutting back on non-essential expenses, putting ambitious expansion plans on ice, or even making difficult decisions about staffing. But what's crucial to understand is that funding winter is not the end of the world. In fact, it's a natural, cyclical occurrence in the business world. Just as winter follows fall in nature, a funding winter often follows a period of excessive investment and overvaluation in the market. It's the market's way of restoring balance, of ensuring that the sun doesn't shine too brightly on any one sector for too long. In essence, funding winter is a chilling period for startups where the inflow of capital becomes a real struggle. But just like in nature, it's a necessary part of the cycle. And those who can weather the winter will emerge stronger, more resilient, and better prepared for the next cycle of growth. The effects of a funding winter can be quite severe for startups. Imagine you're in the middle of a harsh winter with limited resources. You would do everything you can to conserve what you have, right? This is the reality for startups during a funding winter. The cold chill of capital inflow correction hits them hard, and they need to adapt swiftly to survive. Startups in this icy economic climate have to resort to measures that help them save their working capital. The reason? Expectations of funding from investors are at an all-time low. It's like expecting a heat wave in the middle of December. Not very likely. So they need to tighten their belts and prepare for a potentially long winter. What does this conservation look like in real terms? Well, the first casualties are usually the expansion plans. Remember that new branch in another city or that innovative product line? Those plans are put on ice as startups focus on maintaining what they already have. Next on the chopping block are capital expenditures. Those shiny new machines or the latest tech, they become a luxury that startups can't afford when they're trying to weather a funding winter. Instead, they focus on getting the most out of their existing assets. And let's not forget about advertising expenses. In times of plenty, startups can afford to spend on getting their name out there. But in a funding winter, every penny counts. So the focus shifts from attracting new customers to retaining existing ones. In essence, startups strip down to the bare essentials. Only the expenditure essential to the survival of the firm is undertaken, and all unnecessary expenses are put on the back burner. It's all about survival, about making it through the funding winter intact. So a funding winter forces startups to strip down to the bare essentials, focusing on survival rather than expansion. But what causes this harsh funding winter and how long does it last? Well, let's unravel this mystery. The funding winter is not a sudden or unpredictable phenomenon. It is a cyclical effect, much like the changing seasons. However, instead of the Earth's tilt and rotation around the sun, this cycle is driven by a complex interplay of multiple factors that impact the flow of investments. These factors can be as broad and generic as geopolitical unrest in countries, shaking investor confidence on a global scale. Imagine a world where political instability causes investors to hold on to their cash, waiting for the storm to pass. Or consider financial irregularities, where a scandal in one corner of the world sends tremors through the global investment community, causing a widespread freeze in funding. On the other hand, these factors can also be centric to specific sectors. For instance, a sudden technological breakthrough can shift investor interest from one sector to another, leaving the former out in the cold. 
or a change in government policy could render a once promising industry less attractive, leading to a sector-specific funding chill. The duration of a funding winter is as unpredictable as the factors that cause it, it could be as brief as a winter squall, or as prolonged as a polar night, depending on the severity of the factors in play. The unpredictability of its duration makes it an even more challenging period for startups. Remember, during a funding winter, the flow of capital slows down, not stops. It's a period of correction, a time when the market takes a step back and reassesses the value of startups. It's a time when investors become more cautious, preferring firms with a clear path to profitability. So while the funding winter may seem like a tough period, it's also an opportunity for startups to reset their priorities, to focus on profit maximization, and to ensure the sustainability of their business. Like a long, harsh winter, a funding winter can be a tough and unpredictable period for startups. So we've journeyed through the cold reality of a funding winter. We've uncovered how this market correction phase can lead to a chill in capital inflow, making it challenging for startups to secure high valuations and substantial funding. We've delved into its effects, highlighting how it compels startups to hit the brakes on expansion plans, advertisement expenses and capital expenditures, focusing instead on maintaining their working capital and ensuring sustainability. We've also explored the causes behind the onset of a funding winter, from geopolitical unrest to financial irregularities and how these factors can influence its unpredictable duration. These moments of economic frostiness are cyclical, not novel, serving as reminders of the volatile nature of the startup ecosystem and the free flow of investments. Remember, while a funding winter can be a difficult period for startups, it's also a time for them to reassess, restructure, and focus on building a sustainable business model.